Hi Gemini, welcome to your week ahead reading for April 26th through May 2nd. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. This is intended to be an all-encompassing reading, so whatever comes out gets read. It could be all romance or all work or a little bit of everything, all that. So um, there's that. Also, if this is about you and your person or a person, this could be yours or their moon rising and Venus sign also. All right, Gemini. Okay, Gemini. April 26th, May 2nd. Strength, that could be Leo. The Lovers, Gemini, Taurus, or Libra. Seven of Cups. Oopsie. Knight of Wands, that could be Leo. The World. King of Pentacles, that could be Virgo. And... Page of Swords. All right. Let me get the little guys here. Okay, so. Hmm. Not too shabby. Gemini. Good for you. Oops. Three of Cups. Did you just meet somebody? <laughs> hmm. I don't know how you're working a lot. <laughs> it's so much work. What's this lover's card about? Or Gemini? At least it feels that way. What's this lover's card about? Gemini. Five of Swords. What's this Seven of Cups? Gemini. Okay, the Fool card. So you, did you, seriously, did you meet somebody? Are you, um, did you just leave something and now you're finding or you met somebody else, but it's all, everything's superficial because you're wanting to just kind of take a minute here because you're probably wondering when you're going to get a minute to slow down because there's lots of work involved here, especially with the relationship. So your load's been lightened, but it feels like there's a lot of work also. But you're busy, busy, busy. What's this Knight of Wands about, Gemini? The world. Wow, the world twice. Holy cow. Okay. Yeah, this is about romance. <laughs> What's this world card about? You're wanting to, you, but you can't. What's this hangman? Because the way everything is right now, we're on again. That's Pisces. So you're busy though. Wow. King of Pentacles. Two of Cups. Okay, so uh, well, what's this page of swords? The thing is, I this feels like you met somebody new, but there's not a whole lot you can do about it because one, you're busy, and two, Ronageddon. So, th but there's delight in the newness, and there's like, oh, um, there's happiness in that. That you know, and it's nothing that you're falling down a rabbit hole with. It's just nice. It's a break from what once was. It's it's something new, something different. It's somebody that is interesting and kind and, and they hold, they have your attention. It's nice. And you have theirs and it's nice and it's new. And it's not anything other than that for the Gemini's I'm reading for. I can't remember what it was last week, <laughs> But um, this is something that's new, that there's not a whole heck of a lot you can do about it, but you don't really want to anyway because you're busy and you don't really want it to be anything other than just refreshing at this point. What's this Page of Swords? Nine of Wands. Okay, doubling down on that, that this is all about your, you've kind of been going through a lot plus you're busy. So the last romantic situation, quite possibly, that you had, you're taking some time for you now to kind of heal and just have things level out because you had to make some decisions and, you know, it's like I just, I got lit, quite literally, quite possibly cutting that loose, um, making some serious decisions about that. And while you might still be thinking about it and like, I don't know what to, you know, um, on the heels of not knowing what to do and having oh, over there, you meet somebody new that you're just like, holy cow. And I mean, we've got this right here, like, oh my gosh, just two competing um, situations. 
and not and none that require you to do anything about you're not doing anything wrong like it's I, and I know you know that but it's just it's out with one and as soon as out with one here comes another one and you're not interested in doing much but it's still nice you know what I mean like there's still that but you're so dang busy holy cow you're busy <laughs> you're just going 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 um and it has everything what you're doing is directly affected by what's going on out in the world right now it's keeping you pretty darn busy so but i think there's kind of solace in just working a lot and getting that coin um and having this leave you emotionally and kind of being interested in making space for this new new interest which is just fun and lighthearted, but it's enough to kind of get you through the lulls in your work day or your work week um but you're not really interested in running headlong into anything you're kind of guarded and walled off but you you are kind of it, it, it's it's fun this new somebody something it's this new situationship is fun it's not like anything's happening there's just interest it's a mutual interest and there's communication on that what else for Gemini? Money's good, but you're busy. There's not a surplus, but there's not a deficit, but you're busy and you're working and, and you're working for money, which you're not mad about. I mean, you're, you're pleased with, you know. So yay, Ooh, temperance and strength. So this is all about things coming back into balance and in flow for you after you've made some practical, good for you decisions about a possibly a romantic situation. And just as soon as that leaves, unless you kind of were started to become interested with somebody else and then you let go of somebody else because of that new interest in somebody else, because this is happening in quick succession. Like this, it feels like you've ended something and there's this waiting for you. Like it's back to back. It's not like, oh, this is lovely. Look what's coming in. It feels like this person is like right there. So that one goes out and then here's a new one. And yet it's kind of nice just having that interest and not being able to do anything about it because of what's going on in the world right now. So um, it's refreshing. I, I keep getting that word refreshing and, and delight. It's just, it's, it's nice. Your time is your own, you're independent, you're doing your own thing, you're going and doing and creating and busy, busy, but there's that little reminder of, hey, somebody's thinking about me and, and it's, it's fun and it's nice. It's not heavy and not like, oh God, what? what I do now or oh no it's not any of that it's light and refreshing <laughs> but your time I have to say though your time is largely your own and I think if this had the potential to be anything more than that I don't think you would be interested because you really it, it really does feel like you kind of just want a little something but you don't want any kind of obligation or commitment or any this is kind of in a way like getting you back I think that's where your focus is. So you've got a little bit of interest here, but you're wanting to keep your time largely, largely your own and remain independent. And I know this is only a week reading. <laughs> I have to remember that because I'm so used to doing monthlies, but it just feels like you're, you're busy, but you're wanting to make sure that you stay independent. Because whatever you were involved in before was kind of a lot and you're, you're just like, I just need a break for a while. I just need to kind of coast. This, you're content, you're busy, but you're content. You know, those four, Gemini, Gemini. Okay, so we've got Wheel of Fortune and we've got seven, no, eight of Pentacles reversed. So things have, so you're just not work. I don't think this is about work. Um, I think we're, I think you're busy with work. I think this is more about the relationship where, um, you decided you don't want to try or work on things anymore with so it's just too much you want your own time your own space you want to be obligation free it shouldn't have to be that hard to be trying to work things out with somebody and that opens up to new opportunities quite possibly with this new person and you like your chances this is optimism at the future so you're boldly and happily going into the future with yourself in mind but there's interest in the other person it's fun you know but the focus is largely on you restoring equilibrium and balance in your life. Okay. Oh, I didn't do this one yet. What else for Gemini? I'm trying to keep these under 10 minutes. I almost made it. I'm not Gemini, Aquarius. Nope. It is Gemini. What else for Gemini? Good Lord. 
Those for Gemini. Cracky. Hello. Those for Gemini. Those for Gemini. <laughs> love is all around. We got self love. Like you're, you know, you're feeling, you're feeling yourself and this is a fun little situation and then we get this is a content week this is a content week you got renewed interest focusing on yourself and then this happens and everything just feels good you feel like you got you back and then this person is kind and interesting and there's no demands and that's a good week wish it could be a monthly <laughs> okay all right gemini i hope this was helpful I uh, hope you have a good week. Please, you're going to be busy. Please get some rest. Thank you for your service if you're an essential worker or first responder. But you're going to be busy. Okay. Um, all right. You have a good week. Much love and support to you. Take care.